All right, let's check in with Scott Crothers and Steve Nicholas each and every day we do it. Good morning, Scott Crothers. Good morning, McGraw. All right, the uh, Fed raised rates like it was anticipated, and the Dow took off. It did take off. Uh, yesterday, the Dow was up 113 points and closed at 20,950. You know, like you said, the Fed raised rates as expected, and a rebound in oil prices got the market to go higher. Energy stocks led the rally as oil was up 2.4% to 48 uh, 86. Financials were the only sector down, so I'm sure you don't like that. Investors bought the 10-year U.S. Treasury, as you, uh, which is unusual uh, when the market is higher, pushing the yield down to 2.5%. Yeah, financials, I guess it was baked in the cake, as you guys like to say, right? It's basically selling on the news of what everybody expected to happen. So. Yeah, all right. Uh, all right, uh, let's talk about the Federal Reserve. What else did they say? Well, the Federal Reserve, they did, they raised its base lending rate to 0.25%. Uh, base is, uh, raised its rate 0.25% is now in the range of 0.75 to 1%. Only one member voted against the increase. The Fed sees two more rate hikes this year and three in 2018. They expect short-term interest rates to be about 2% at the end of this year and about 3% at the end of 18. So. All right, that's the Federal Reserve. Uh, we'll wait and see what happens with that. Uh, Oracle, what are we hearing from them? Well, they reported strong numbers yesterday after the bell. They are making good progress in their fight against Amazon for customers' cloud business. Oracle's systems now run faster and for less money than Amazon. All in revenue rose 3% to $9.21 billion. They made a profit of $2.44 billion, up 2.14. Uh, in the year ago quarter, All uh, right. from 2.14 year ago quarter. All right, that's Oracle. What about uh, Tesla? Now, Tesla plans to offer a billion dollars in stock and convertibles to shore up their balance sheet before the launch of the new Model 3. It will offer $250 million in stock and $750 million in convertible stock coming due in 2022. The Model 3 will cost about $40,000 and you get about 200 miles per charge. Mm-hmm. That's about interesting. Forty thousand dollars for the new Model Three. So. Yeah. Oh, how much? Forty thousand? Did you say? Yeah, forty thousand. Forty thousand. Huh. All right. Uh, markets today after that nice little run yesterday. Well, today the Dow looks up about seventy points on the futures, uh, so that's a nice sign. We get a lot of economic numbers this morning, including first-time job list claims, the selling Fed, and the jolts or job opening report. So, all right. those things come up. All right. Watch the world for us, and come back and tell us all about it tomorrow, Scott. Scott Crothers with Stephen Nicholas gets up early each and every morning with us, so we really appreciate it. If you are looking for someone to check out your portfolio, uh, nothing like tapping in with Scott Crothers and Stephen Nicholas. He'll be happy to give you a once-over. Uh, his office right there on Conway and uh, Lindbergh, right behind Calico Corners there, uh, each and every money, each each and every morning. Scott Crothers with uh, Stephen Nicholas. All right, 643, traffic, weather, sports.